sorry. I scared you, didn't I? Oh, relax. There is no need to be so guarded around me. I'm a student, just like you. You've seen me around, haven't you? You see me around too often. What does that mean? <laughs> well, it looks like our paths intersect more than I thought. You are definitely more observant than I am. You notice me all the time, but it seems like I only ever catch you out of the corner of my eye. But I finally caught you today. Now I can actually talk to you. Why do I want to talk to you? Hmm. Well, it's because I think you're the only person in school who I haven't spoken to at least once. And that kind of sucks, because out of everyone, you're the one I wanted to chat with the most. Why you? <laughs> oh, don't you remember? At the beginning of the school year, you bailed me out of a really sticky situation. Hmm. Okay, let me jog your memory then. <coughs> the date is September 15th. It was a hot day and I really couldn't take it anymore. The teacher had neglected to turn on the air conditioning, and you know what? He had stepped out of the classroom while we were all working on the class assignment. So, he wouldn't mind if I turned it on, right? Yeah, that didn't happen. He was mad for some reason. I mean, come on, Mr. Blake. Would you rather have your students die of heat stroke? Anyways, while he was yelling about how only he was allowed to control the air conditioner, blah, 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 you raised your hand and asked him about the assignment. What did that do? Well, you diverted his attention, of course. He forgot all about little old me. Nice save by you. We got to keep the air conditioning on. Uh, I don't really care if he just wanted to ask a genuine question. You still saved my butt. I've been looking to chat with you ever since, but you always just scurry away whenever I see you. Could it be that you're avoiding me? Do you not like me? My fan club? What fan club? What are you talking about? What's with that incredible look on your face? Hey, I'm not denser than a brick. Are you talking about my friends, maybe? I know I've got a lot of them, but... Is it that you're intimidated by everyone? Well, in that case, I'm glad that I slipped away when I saw you passing by. Then you won't be so shy, hmm? Not your point? What does that mean? Hey, come on! You can tell me. Even if it's a little mean, I'll listen. And you don't look like you have a mean bone in your body, anyway. <laughs> well, if you think that I shouldn't judge you by your appearance, then why don't you chat with me? Let me get to know who you are inside so I don't have to only look at your appearance. Deal? Aww. There we go, there's a smile. You know, you look even more attractive than normal when you smile. Of course I think you're attractive. You keep your head down a lot, but I always find my gaze drawn to you. 
I don't know if you realize it, but you're lovely without trying too hard. One of the reasons why I always wanted to talk to you. You bet I say that to everyone. <laughs> I can promise you that I don't. You're the one who keeps stealing my gaze. No one else has managed that. Why, yes, I am flirting with you. <laughs> Your face is turning red. Do I fluster you as so well? That's a good thing. It means you probably like me too. Ow! Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> but seriously, I do think you're really cool. <laughs> If I really make you uncomfortable, then I'll stay away from you from now on. But I promise I really do just want to get to know you better. So don't hesitate to approach me, alright? You want me to approach you first? <laughs> alright, if that's what it takes to get to know you. Hmm? One other thing? You don't want me to approach you while my friends are around. Is it because they make you uncomfortable? I do see you keeping to yourself. Do you not like crowds? They did what? Oh, you. No wonder you didn't want to tell me. I... I can't say for sure that I believe you, but... But I know that my friends tend to get protective of me. Besides, I've never seen you lie. Not even that one time when you accidentally tore the teacher's textbook. Uh, I'll talk to my friends. If they did all that to you, then I guess we weren't friends after all. No, no, no. Don't apologize. You should never apologize for something someone else did. It's my fault for not noticing how they were treating you. Okay, yeah, that comment about my friends being my fan club makes more sense now. Mm. Tell you what, why don't we meet up here next week? Same place, same time. So, we can chat more, of course, and to update you on the situation with my friends. As long as no one knows that we meet up here, that's fine, right? Great. I'll see you then. Well, I'm off to interrogate some people. Tell them that it really was a nice to mess with you. Hm? Don't worry. I won't tell them that you're the one who told me. I'll just say that someone else tipped me off. Oh, one more thing. Just a word of advice. If you want to avoid my friends, there is a bed out of the school by the bad garden. None of them ever go there and it's my own secret spot. So if you ever want to find me and I'm nowhere to be found, you can go check out that area. Why tell you this? Well, because I feel like I can trust you completely. Is that weird? I really hope it isn't. Ah, uh -huh, there's that lovely smile again. Alright, see you around, okay? And I promise that no one will mess with you anymore. Again, don't mention it. It's the least I can do for you. <laughs> Bye!